Tom McMillan, Senior Pastor at John Knox Presbyterian Church. We want to invite you to worship with us on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, either in person or online. Um, a while back, I had a, a member of the congregation who told me about her surgery that was going to be coming up. And I said, I really want to know kind of when it is. Make sure you let me know so I can be there to pray with you before the surgery. It's a, kind of an important connection with people. And she said, oh, I'll, I'll let you know. I, I won't let you fail. And I liked, I liked that. I, I'll, I'll make sure I let you know because I know this is important to you and I want to make sure you have what you need to be where you want to be. And I like that. And so I wonder sometimes if we do let people fail by what we refuse to tell them or what we forget to say or by our timidity to actually say something that needs to be said. And Paul, I think, is looking at that, wondering how are people going to know who to trust, <laughs> where their help can be, um, what gives them peace in a crazily chaotic world? How are they going to know unless somebody says something? And how are we going to say something unless we're not, you know, sent? And I think that's our invitation. Not only to say what we need to say, but to be almost discerning. What do people need to hear from us? What good news do we have? What measure of wisdom, insight do we have to share? And within relationships, if we're kind of holding back, expecting the other to read our mind or to anticipate, um, it doesn't work really well. <laughs> it's much better path. Say, so this is where I'm at. This is how I receive love. This is what means much to me. It gives the other a chance to then be a part of um, making something meaningful. So we're talking about that on Sunday and hopefully we'll see you there. Remember, you're not alone. God cares for you and so do we.